authentic Chinese hot pot in just 15 minutes? What's up everybody? Today, we will be unboxing and cooking the Heidi Lao Chinese Instant Hot Pot. Earl and I love hot pots, especially Chinese hot pot. So when we saw this Heidi Lao Instant Hot Pot, of course we had to try it. Had to. So this is the Heidi Lao Instant Hot Pot. So for those of you who don't know, Heidi Lao is actually the biggest hot pot chain in China or maybe even in the world. So they came up with this hot pot over here and as you can see, it's imported from China because everything's in Chinese. So we don't know how to make it, we don't know the instructions, but who needs instructions anyways, right? Let's do this. So before we unbox this, we are gonna show you guys the packaging. This is the top right here. As you can see, it's all in Chinese, but you can see the expiration date is that March 30th? Is this expired? Maybe that's the production date. I'm hoping it's the production date. We just bought this last week, but this is the top. You can see over here, you can see the instruction. Step one, put all the ingredients in. Step two, put the water. Step three, put the water into the big bowl. And then you put the heating pad, and then you put all the contents in, then you cover it for 15 minutes and then there's no other packaging here so these are warning labels and then we have the nutrition facts now to unbox i'm so excited let's see what's in this okay so as you can see this container is really big and they have this thing right here which we saw already Oh, cool. There are actually instructions on the other side. Yeah, so as you can see, they have the Chinese instructions over here. It's pretty much the same as what it says on the outside. Cute, nice drawings. Yeah, it's very cute. All right, so we have this. As you can see, it's made out of sturdy plastic. It actually has a hole right here, which I'm assuming is for ventilation. And then, ta-da! Okay, so the first thing we have are utensils. Wow, this is very heavy. I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's the vegetables because you can see it on the packaging. Yes, it's veggie. Okay, she can read and I can't. And then you have this, which I am assuming is the noodles. The soup, I think? Feels like noodles. Mm. And then you have this bowl over here. Hope it's clean. And then we have this, which is... That's the beef. This is the beef? Yeah, no, Okay. No. This is the beef. And then this is the soup? I think so. I, I don't know. Okay. And then this is the heating pad. This is what makes all the magic happen. This is what boils the water. Let's check it out. So let's make it. Step one is to put all the vegetables in first. So here are the vegetables. Again, this is very heavy and it's made out of good quality, it seems, packaging. See what comes out. Whoa, whoa. It, How does it smell? It smells like seaweed. Okay, got it. So this is what I'm assuming are the noodles. I don't know how to read Chinese, but I'm just going by feel and yep, here are the noodles. Wow, how's the texture? It's. It tastes, or it doesn't taste, it feels just like a rubber band. That's yeah, exactly, plasticky. more like rubber. Um, but yeah. This is the beef. And then here is the beef. Let's try this out. Wow, it smells really good. Mm. Wow. You can smell the, the chili flavor. The beef and the chili, yeah. Mm. 
combine. You can smell the the uh, the mala on it. Look at all that oil. I love it. And then lastly, we put the soup. So here is the soup base. Wow, it smells spicy. Wow, I love it. As you can see inside. Here it is. Whoa, look at all that. I think this is gonna be spicy, which I love. I'm gonna make sure we don't waste any of this. I'm gonna get every last drop that I can. Okay, so now the instruction says to pour the water to this fill line, but I noticed in the instructions, after filling it up with water, I'm gonna have to remove it again and then pour water under here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna skip this step just so it doesn't get messy. And then it says to fill it up just to this fill line over here. So I think we have to act fast because once we put the heating pad thing, I think it's gonna get hot pretty fast. So time to open this up. And I'm not sure how exactly do I do this? So I just put it in the water and that's it. So, this reminds me of before when I used to snowboard. We didn't get those heating pads that you put in your gloves, but you have to crack it first. This one, I think you just submerge in water. So, here it goes. And then we have to act fast. So we put that in here. We put water? Yes. Until where? This fill line right here. Keep going. A little bit more. Stop. A little bit more, and there you go. Oh, you, okay. Stop. Yeah, that's good. Now you can, wow, it's steaming now. Cool. All right, what I should have done was I should have mixed this up more first, but I think it's, it's not too late. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox this. And I'm gonna get this spoon, and I'm just gonna put this under so that everything is submerged. Mix it up real good. And then, close the lid. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> close it for 15 minutes, 15 right? minutes. So we just set our timer. Okay. And now we wait. So as you can see, there is steam coming out. And it's vibrating and it's really hot. So, this is pretty cool. So while we're waiting for this, I'm also gonna box the chopsticks. Cute chopsticks. Very cute chopsticks. And, oh, a toothpick too. How mm. thoughtful. <laughs> and, so they have these two little extensions for the chopstick, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure which side you put it on. I think you put it here. So look at that. Cool. Cool chopsticks. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Open, go. Finally. Let's open this up. Ooh, Ooh it's very hot. As you can see, it's still steaming. And ta-da. Wow. Looks legit. It looks legit. You can see all the oil and all the mala and the beef. So this is what it looks like. All right, let's try it out. You wanna do the honors? Oh. <laughs> okay, you have You to... first, you first, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want me to go first? Yep. All right. So first, what I'm gonna start off with is the beef. So as you can see, the beef is more of a stewed type beef. So let's try it. Mmm. Wow. Good. Mm hmm It tastes like real beef. It tastes like fresh beef. Mm. So one of the things I have to warn you about. It's, it's really, super spicy. It's, yeah, it's really spicy. Ay, you can really taste the peppercorn that has that numbing effect on your mouth, which I love. 
but I don't know how you will like that, but really hot. <coughs> Nako, it seems super spicy. So the noodles are like glass noodles. <clears throat> it's good. It's really spicy though. So this, I'm not really sure what this is called. Do you know what this is called? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. I've had it a lot of times. Usually when I go to hot pot, especially the hot pot buffets, I usually don't get this, but it's kind of like a radish, but I know it's not a radish. Probably in the same family, but. So we're actually not sure if this is good for one or good for three or four. I don't think it's good for three. Maybe good for two, if anything. Good for two, if anything. But I think this is more supposed to be... For one. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be for one. And just to note, this costed... How much did this cost? This costed... Four fifty. I think around four fifty. We don't really remember. We bought it from a reseller. As you can see, this is imported straight from China. So I'm assuming it's cheaper in China. Not bad. It's just too spicy for me. I won't be able to finish one whole thing. You know, if I were to get another one of these, I would probably add my own meat. There's a lot of vegetables in here that aren't really my first choice of vegetables, like, like the seaweed. I mean, it's all right, but I'd rather like have other type of toppings. You wanna try this beef? So I can, as you can see, this beef right here. Let me show the camera the beef. As you can see, this beef right here. Okay. Yeah, so. Wanna try this? Uh, yeah, it's, it's legit mala hot pot. The taste and everything is very legit. Mm. I like the beef, it's very tender. Yeah. And I'm surprised that the beef looks like this because when we first put it in, I was expecting it to be more like ground beef. The noodles have that very grass-like texture. Yep. The noodles are good. It's kind of mushy. It's not al dente, it's kind of, it's very soft. So I, I think this hot pot overall, the soup base is good. Mm -hmm. It's really spicy, which we could have adjusted ourselves. The beef is really good, but... All the veggies? I'm not really feeling the vegetables. These are all the vegetables that, if we were to go to a hot pot buffet, these are the ones that I wouldn't get. I think this is potato, is it? I'm not sure. Potato. What I would do next time if we were to make this again, I would add our own meat. We have crab sticks and everything that I would, that I would add ourselves just to make it more exciting. But overall, it's not bad. The beef is good. We also have the other flavors, right? That we haven't tried yet. Mm -hmm. I'll get those. So we actually have two other ones. We have this Heidi Lao green one. So I think this is all... This is spicy vegetable flavor. So they have corn. And I think more of the same. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing different is... There's no beef. Yeah, it's corn instead of beef. So I prefer this one. And then we have this one, which is a different brand. Again, I can't read it because it's in Chinese. But yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It's but Shaolong Kan. Shaolong Kan. Oh, Shaolong Kan. Hot pot. So overall, what is your rating of this Heidi Lao Instant Hot Pot? Mm, I think I would rate it 4 out of 5. But it's just that we put too much spicy mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah, I really so put all it of made it. it really spicy. Probably I won't be eating this. It's gonna be you who's gonna finish it. <laughs> so I'll make it three out of five. Three out of five, not mm -hmm. four. Okay. Yeah. For me, I would rate it a three point five <laughs> out of five. I think the soup and the beef really good are a five for me. I don't. I like the cool gimmick aspect of uh, being able to make your own hot pot. Literally the only ingredients we needed was this container and water. 
so you can literally make it anywhere and the thing that I don't like about it number one are the vegetables these aren't my first choice of vegetables and the other thing is it's kind of pricey I think this was 450 it might have even been 500 450 to 500 which is a little bit pricey for instant noodles for right. one meal for one person yeah yeah I think if you add another 150 to 200 pesos you can go to a hot pot buffet and not only can you eat more but you get to eat more of what you want what I'm actually gonna do is when we turn off this camera I'm gonna get some crab sticks really and yeah the crab sticks will cook in this we have chicken but I don't know if the chicken will cook anymore no. because it's not as hot anymore but the next time I cook this I'm gonna add my own meats in there how I would suggest that we can improve this I would remove some of the vegetables and I would add some balls mm. shrimp balls I like that squid suggestion. balls if we were to add that I think this would be a lot better but overall I give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars so that's it for the unboxing of the Heidi Lao Chinese instant hot pot hope you guys enjoyed how did we do did we make it right how could we improve this have you tried this? Please comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.